Julianne coming to you with another week of sensory fun at the Gilborn Public Library at your home. So today we are finally tackling colored spaghetti. So for this project, you will need spaghetti or any other kind of pasta. Um, I think it's more fun to use the thin spaghetti or linguine, uh, just the long shapes tend to be more fun. The kids have more fun once it's finished. They can cut it, they can kind of play with it like little snakes or worms. So you're gonna need some kind of pasta, a uh, measuring spoon, food colors. The gel food color works the best. Um, vinegar, oil. I would recommend a long spoon or something to stir uh, because when you put your pasta in the bowls to color them, uh, you're gonna need to mix uh, up the food coloring. And then you're gonna need some different containers. For today, I have used some clear Tupperware containers, um, but you're gonna need lots of them. So I normally just use the uh, red measuring cups, the giant ones. And when I say lots, um, you'll need one for each color you wanna make. So if you want a whole rainbow of colors, maybe six or seven different colors that you'll need to use. So the first thing you have to do is to cook your pasta. And while you're cooking your pasta, you're going to prepare the water. You're gonna fill up your uh, measuring cup or your Tupperware bowl with um, three quarters of it of cold water. And then you're gonna put in a couple of teaspoons of your vinegar. And you wanna do this because the vinegar helps to keep the food coloring on the pasta instead of on your hands or on your clothes. And then the next, you're gonna to wanna to add your uh, food coloring. And I add a lot of food coloring because I like the really strong colors. So you just kind of squirt it around a couple of times. And then you'll use your spoon to mix up your colors. So ideally you would be putting your pasta into the food coloring um, like immediately after you drain it from the water. Uh, but this uh, project took a lot of prep, so I actually cooked this pasta a couple of hours ago because I had to, I did all of the colors. So um, the colors take time. The pasta takes time to soak up the colors. So this project is gonna take you a little bit longer to do. I probably started um, cooking the pasta at about eight this morning and it's now 1020. So it does take a while. So I'm gonna take some of my pasta and you would probably not wanna be grabbing it with your hands if you're doing it right after you cooked it because it would be hot. So then you're gonna just dump it in your water and maybe mix it up. You'll see, even though uh, we just put it in, it's taking a little bit of the color, uh, but you're probably gonna want it to be a stronger color than that. So you're gonna leave your uh, pasta in the water for a couple of hours at least. Now I made some already and this has been sitting in the water probably close to two hours. So you can see that it's got a lot more color than the pasta that we just put in. So let's do a side by side. This couple minutes, this couple hours. So the longer you leave it in, the more color it will take. Now if you feel it's not getting enough color, you can always add some more food coloring, but just make sure to stir it back up. So once you have enough um, color on your pasta, you will take your strainer. So you'll also need a strainer for your pasta and you'll drain it. And then after it's drained, you are going to take your vegetable oil. And this is the way I do it. 
I just pour a little of the vegetable oil right in there. And I take my spoon or a fork and I just mix it right up, right in the strainer. And the vegetable oil will make it so that the pasta doesn't stick together. So you're gonna repeat this process for all of the colors that you want. And then uh, you can use like a clear bin. For today, I used a big um, like metal pan that you might put like a big load of uh, lasagna or something in. And I did pink. This was yellow, but it didn't really turn out yellow. Remember I mentioned that in another video that for some reason, the yellow doesn't turn out yellow very often if you don't use um, the big bottles. If you use the gel coloring or the little tiny containers, for some reason, the yellow turns out orange, blue, purple, and um, green. So the blue takes the color the best. You probably don't need as much food coloring in that. The yellow, orange, pinks, take the most food coloring, so you might have to use twice as much or more of the food coloring to make a really strong color. And then what is really fun for the kids to do, if you have any little kid scissors at home, they like to cut, you can cut the noodles, um, measuring spoons, forks, cups. Found these little uh, tongs you can pick up. Kids just have a blast playing with this. Uh, it won't last for terribly long, maybe three days at most. Uh, so it's not one of those long lasting projects that you're gonna have around for a long time, but the kids sure do have a lot of fun with it. So I hope you enjoyed how to make, how to make the colored pasta and come back next week for some more sensory fun. Bye guys.